Hello students. In this video, we'll see the next example for forces in space. Now we have seen around about five examples and we have been able to find the force vector when two points are given through which the force is passing or the angles are known. So now we'll see similar examples. <music> example you can see that the force vector is not known to me but the force magnitude that is 60 newtons is given and the force is making an angle of 60 degrees with the y-axis so I need to find out the components of the force along x-axis y-axis and the z-axis so in this case what we need to do we need to resolve the force along the various axes now, if I need to find out the force along y-axis, what I need to do is I need to find the component of this force along the y-axis. So, what I'll do is I'll draw a perpendicular like what is drawn over here parallel to this line from this point to this point. So, what happens is this becomes a right angle triangle for me and I can find out the component over here this component being the cos component for this force. So in that case, I'll get the y component of this force. Similarly, I need to find out the x and the z component. For that, I'll do the similar thing. That is, I can see the projection of this force. If I drop a perpendicular from this point onto this plane over here, I'll get this point and this point with O is making an angle of, I mean, it is making an angle of 20 degrees with Z axis. So what I'll do is, again, I'll drop a perpendicular from this point over here and I'll find out the component over here. So in this case, to find out this component, I should be knowing this length or this component over here. So this thing I can again find by using the sine component of this force, the angle being 60 degrees over here, or you can take it as 30 degrees and the cos component. So in that way, I'll get this force. So I'll just show you what has to be done. In this figure, you can see that I have drawn a line from this point onto y-axis. So if I name this O A B, this becomes a nine right angle triangle. So in this case, if I try to find out this component, this would be the cos component of this force over here. So I can write it as F Y is equal to force along OB. So I'll write it as F OB is equal to F cos component with the angle. So this becomes 60 cos 60, which is nothing but 30 Newtons. So this is how I have found the Y component of this force. Similarly, I need to find out the Z component as well as the X component. For that, what I can do is I need to first find out this component over here. I name this as say point C, this as B and this as E. So, what I need to do is in this triangle OCA, I know this component CA, I need to find out OC. So OC, if OC is nothing but sine component of the force, so that is, it comes out to be as 51.9. Newtons. So I have got this force as 51.9 Newtons. Now you can see that in this triangle OCD 
if I find out this length CD that becomes the X component of the force and if I find this length that is OD I can find the Z component of the force so that is nothing but the cos component over here and the sine component over here so I'll just write it over here on the next sheet F X is nothing but F C D sine sixteen. Now I'm finding out the force along C D, but I'm finding the component for this force O C. So I need to take the magnitude of this force. So I'll write a suffix over here as OC. So that is, this won't be 60 over here. This should be OC ka magnitude 51.9 sin 60. So that value comes out to be 45 newtons so I have got CD which is nothing but the X component of the force of this force which is the component of this force so basically I have found the component of this force along X axis and that happens to be 45 newtons similarly I need to find out the Z component of this force for this force I have taken the component over here then I need to take the component of this force over here so what I need to do is I need to just write F Y is F O C's magnitude cos 60 so that happens to be 51.96 cos 60 so I have got the component along y-axis as well so you can see that this is how I have calculated the component of the force along x y and z axis I just write it down over here fx I have got as 45 newtons Fy is coming out as 25.9 newtons and Fz is 0. Oh sorry this should have been Fz so Fz and this is my Fy. Fy is 30 newtons. Just mind this mistake which has been done over here. This is Fz. So I've written Fz over here. Fz is coming out as 25.9 newtons. I hope you have understood this example. Thank you.